How are we doing guys? Always to be Leeds 5, Stoke Nail, match review of the game guys, absolute scenes. We've just witnessed a second half masterclass from Ellen, at Ellen Rose. It was just, I don't know what more I can say guys, it was absolutely incredible. You know, what more can you really say? It was just phenomenal, fantastic. Any superlative you can think of, think of it, because that is how you describe this Leeds game. It was absolutely incredible. You know, that second half performance. In the first half, yeah, okay, you can say whatever you want about the first half. I still thought we were a better team in the first half, but the second half was just, you're watching a top, 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 top team there. You know, we've seen this all season. You know, we've played like that all season. Maybe not quite to that extent as we did today, but we've played at that kind of level all season. And the difference was today, the difference was against Fulham, the difference was against Blackburn, we were clinical. We took our chances, we created high quality chances throughout the game. Numerous different, different um, routes of creativity. You know, we brought on Pablo Hernandez, I mean, Pablo, <laughs> Pablo, what more can you say? What a player, you know, what a player, you know, the best player we've had since the Premier League days, absolutely no doubt about it. I mean, if you're doubting that, why, why, why would you think there's anyone been better who's played for Leeds since the Premier League days and Pablo Hernandez? Why would you think that? Seriously, logistically, why would you think that? Why would there be any argument that Pablo Hernandez is not the best player we've had since the Premier League days? Why would there be any argument he's not a Leeds United legend? He is. He's absolutely incredible what he gives to this Leeds team. His hunger, his determination. He's 35 years of age. He's played in the Spanish national team. He's been roommates with David Silva. He's played in top, top teams. He's played in the Premier League. He's played in the Liga. He's played in major tournaments. You know, he's had a fantastic career. He's had a fantastic career at Leeds. But he's given us four years of absolutely incredible service and hopefully many more years to come as well. But, I mean, what a player. I mean, that second half. I mean, it was the Pablo Hernandez show again. I said it against Fulham. It was the Pablo Hernandez show. It's simple as that. When you've got an option like that off the bench, you know, not even fully fit, and he's put in a, in a performance like that, you're, just, you're looking at an absolute genius. You're looking at one of the best players this division's ever seen. You know, and maybe haters might dismiss it. Maybe rival fans might dismiss it all they want. But... It's a fact, guys. It's a fact. Let's be quite honest there. Um, but, I mean, it's not just Pablo Hernandez, is it? You know, Mateus Click, Luke Hayden, Ben White, Patrick Bamford, Helder Costa, Jack Harrison. The list is endless. Lean Cooper, Stuart Dallas, I think I've probably listed the whole starting 11 there. But the, every single representative of Leeds today, representative, I'll, I'll get there eventually, um, everyone who played for Leeds today was superb. Every single player, you know, if he came off the bench at the start of the game, were fantastic. It was the same against Blackburn, it was the same against Fulham. Every single player is pulled in the right direction, whether they're subs, whether they're starting games, whether they're injured, everyone's pulling in the right direction. This Leeds team is incredible. This is the best Leeds team I think I've ever seen. You know, in terms of pound for pound, the way it functions, the way it plays football, the way it defends, the way it attacks. Of course, I wasn't around for the Revy days, I wasn't around for the Wilco days, but let me have this moment, guys. This Leeds team... It's just, ah, there's words don't describe how good this team is. You know, words don't describe how good this team is. The fact we won 5-0 today and could have won the game by more goals just sums it up, really. And, and let's just go through the game itself. You know, we start the game, to be fair, first 10, 15 minutes. I thought we started the game quite slow by our standards. You know, we did start the game quite slow. Um, ben White, very uncharacteristically, lost the ball um, in a really dangerous area in the first couple of minutes. And you thought, blimey, that could be uh, a bit of a risk. But... You know what, Ben White's Ben White. Ben White makes a mistake, he shrugs it off, and he, and he just gets better. You know, it's, that's what Ben White is. We're, we're witnessing here someone who I think will be playing for England, no doubt about it, will be an England international. Whether that's with Leeds or not with Leeds, I'm, I'm not sure. But all I can tell you guys, if he stays injury-free, if he keeps that hunger, he will be an England international. His technical quality is unbelievable. His mentality is unbelievable. We've already seen this against Fulham. He gets elbowed in the face in the first minute. The, the, the guy who did it, Mitrovic, doesn't get sent off at the time. The mentality to not react, to just to get better and just more and more determined, you know, just not react at all. Just that mentality. You know, it might seem like a little thing, guys, but that is what you, how you can tell you've got a top, 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 top player there. You know, all this about Janssen and that lot. Look, Janssen's a top, top player, but we've made this decision for a reason. You know, Brentford might well, well go on to get promoted, but we made that decision for a reason because we've top, brought in a top, top, top player here who's seven or eight years younger than Janssen. Let's not dismiss how good Ben White is, even if he is only on loan. We've got an absolutely incredible footballer here. You know, Luke Hayden, Liam Cooper, 
Stuart Dallas, what an incredible back four it is. You know, did Stoke create a chance today? Did Stoke create a chance? You know, you look at the attacking quality they've got. Tyrese Campbell, Nick Powell, fantastic against Barnsley. Fantastic, you know, since Michael O'Neill's took charge. We gave them absolutely nothing today. We gave them absolutely nothing. First half, we had loads of the ball, let's be honest. We had 72, 73% of the ball. The only thing we didn't do in that first half, I didn't think, was stretch the play particularly well. You know, a lot of people were coming to coming to feet all the time. You know, there wasn't really many runs beyond it. It was only really Jack Harrison. I thought Jack Harrison on that left-hand side looked like an absolute um, danger to Stoke throughout the game for me. You know, like the danger man for Stoke throughout the game. Um, I thought he could cause Tommy Smith so, so many problems. Um, they could not cope with that, um, Harrison on that left-hand side. But then, you know, we get the chance for Bamford. It's a great save for Butland. It comes off the post and then Tyler Roberts. And it's the most Leeds United miss of Leeds United misses this season. It's the only reason why we've not been promoted already is because of misses like that. You know, we should have taken that chance. We didn't take it. But we got another chance before half time. Matej's click, calm as you like, rolls it into the bottom corner, um, gives Jack Butland the eyes. It's a fantastic penalty. And great work of Helder Costa. Great work of Helder Costa. He, he drifts onto the left hand side. They had quite a quiet first half, I felt. But let, just let me finish before the comments section goes absolutely crazy at me. Just let me finish. Let me finish. Um, don't don't worry. This is there's going to be a lot of held across the praise in this video. Believe you me, there's going to be a lot of held across the praise in this video. I mean, what a performance it was by him. He gets the ball. He drifts onto the left hand side. Fantastic movement. This is the one criticism of held held across is his movement. But today. I saw a totally different Helder Costa from that perspective. I saw a Premier League quality player. I saw the Wolves version of Helder Costa today. You know, the movement, the mentality to keep on going. He didn't start the game particularly well, but he kept on going. You know, he kept fighting, he kept battling. He didn't just let his head drop like he maybe had done earlier on in the season when he had bad, you know, bad starts to games. He didn't quite recover. But now you've seen a top, top, top Helder Costa. And if he maintains this, then 16 million is a steal, guys. 16 million is a steal if he maintains this, because... He's got so much potential. He's got so much potential. He can dribble. He's got pace. He's a threat on the counter. He works hard. And he can finish. He can finish as well. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going anyway, guys. But he wins the penalty. And that's where he starts with Helder Costa. Just for half time. And second half. The big difference for me in that second half was runners. We had runners. You know, Helder Costa and Jack Harrison. You know, whenever the ball was coming into Bamford, Costa, Harrison, making runs in behind. And it was stretching Stoke. You know, that back three was terrible. Let's be honest, the back three, back five was absolutely shocking for Stoke. And we didn't test it enough in that first half. There was goals there in that first half for us. And, and this is it. You know, we won the game 5-0. I can still criticise a little bit. That's how good this Leeds team is. That's how good this Leeds team is. Um, but the second half... I can't remember the last time we scored four goals in one half. I can't remember. Um, we probably have done it at some point with Marcelo Bielsa. Um, if, if we are, just remind me in the comments. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, Costa, the movement for that second goal. What a pass off Stuart Dallas. But the movement, that's the difference to Helder Costa. When he makes movement like that, because we know he can finish. We know he can finish. You know, he's got that goal against Birmingham. You know, when he's one-on-one, -on -one. he got that goal against Cardiff when he was one-on-one. -on -one. He hit that absolute thunderbolt against Middlesbrough. He can finish. He really can finish. And when he makes movement like that, he's going to get so many goals. And this is the Marcelo Mugdielsa masterclass. I saw that team, to be honest, and I'm sure Joe and Connor will mention this in the reviews. I saw that team and I thought, what are we doing? Why are we dropping Douglas? Why are we dropping Alioski? I'll tell you why we did that. We did that because Bielsa's worked hard with Helder Costa. You can just tell. You can just tell certain things. You can tell how much better Costa's movement is. It's not that Costa's become a better player. He's just adapted to the system. And that's what top, top players do. They adapt to the system. Because what the system we play is totally different to what the held Costa at Wolves was used to, and he adapted to it. And if he carries on like that, wow, what a player we're going to have. Yeah, the movement, absolutely fantastic. And he just finishes it, calm as you like, 2-0. And then we start to really feel comfortable then. Pablo's getting on the ball, Click's getting on the ball. We're dominating the midfield. And it's just absolutely sensational. Click, um, Phillips, sorry, just behind. Phillips, Click, Hernandez just dominated the game. What a midfield that is. And you've got runners ahead of them, Harrison, um, Costa, Bamford dropping deep. I mean, Bamford's performance is absolutely unbelievable. Um, probably one of his best this season, to be fair. Um, and that's the side of his game, I think. You know, not just because of the goal. You know, the goal happened at the last minute, but his whole performance is absolutely outstanding today. And that is why, you know, Patrick Bamford, you might criticise his goal return, but he gave a performance today 
in terms of technical quality, in terms of work rate, in terms of link-up play, that I don't think, you know, you might want to criticise me in the comments here, but I don't think any other striker in the Championship could have performed like that today or could have given a performance like that all round. Now, guys, I'm not saying Patrick Bamford is the best striker in the Championship, but I'm talking about all round performance. When Patrick Bamford plays like that, I don't think anyone else in the league can do what he did today in terms of link-up play, running in behind, creating space, holding the ball up, winning the ball back. Just so there, might be comment, there might be criticism in the comments. I don't care, guys, to be honest. I don't care. I'm just speaking facts now. Name me another striker in the Championship who, who could have done that today. You might say Mitrovic. Could Mitrovic have done all of that today? Not for me. Not for me. You know, certainly not from what I've seen in Mitrovic this season. Could Watkins have done all that today? Nope. You might say they're better finishers, but they could not have done all round what Patrick Bamford did today. And I can't wait to read these comments. I'm going to get so much stick. I know I'm going to get so much stick, but seriously, I'm not, Bamford doesn't play like that all season. You know, particularly the last couple of weeks going into lockdown, he wasn't playing particularly well. And he'll admit that himself. But when he plays like that, that is why you're seeing how much high praise Patrick Bamford gets. What a performance it was from him and what a finish it was for that goal. Yes, he should have scored. He should have scored before that. He probably should have had more goals today. But his performance today was just a perfect Marcelo Bielsa centre-forward's performance. A perfect Marcelo Bielsa centre-forward's performance. If you want a textbook for a perfect Marcelo Bielsa centre-forward performance, look up Patrick Manford versus Stoke, 10th of July, or whatever date it is. Just YouTube it, whatever. Um, you can tell about a few drinks anyway, guys. Um, but yeah, it's top, top performance. Jack Harrison doesn't get the goal or assist, but it was an outlet throughout the game. And what that gave us, Costa Harrison, it just stretched the pitch. It gave Click a bit more space to dominate the game. He just completely controlled the second half. It gave Hernandez then the platform to just create and just drift around the pitch like a madman and like an absolute genius that he is. And it's just the excitement, the excitement this Leeds team gives anyone, just gives any Leeds fan, even even rival fans must watch this Leeds team and think, wow, this, this team is something else. But, you know, the thing is, guys, before I go through the other goals we scored as well, I don't want to get too overconfident because let's be honest, let's just give credit where it's due. We're facing two absolutely top quality teams chasing us, West Brom and Brentford. I mean, I've never seen a, such a high-quality championship promotion race. You know, we're talking about absolutely fantastic players here. And it's a pleasure to watch, to be honest. You know, as much as it's stressful, you've got to sit back and admire what we're actually witnessing here. This, this championship will never see anything like this again. You know, Ben Rama, Pereira, Hernandez, you know, top attacking units, top teams that play top football. And to be honest, it, it's just absolutely unbelievable. You know, I think any other year, I think all three teams would have gone up. Absolutely no doubt about it, you know, any other year. You know, it's just, you've got to give credit to the opposition because it's absolutely so high quality. Still a long, it's long way to go, guys. Still a long, long way to go. You know, we can't get too carried away, you know, but if we play like we did today for the next four games, we've got to have huge confidence. We've got to have huge confidence. You never know at this level. You never, ever know at this level. You know, surprises can come at any time. Any time. We're playing some absolutely top quality teams. Let's not forget that. We've still got top quality teams to play, but we're a top quality team ourselves. We've proved it on a consistent basis. And that's all you can say, guys. So, so go on to the other three goals as well. So, um, the third goal, the third goal, oh, Lee Cooper. The fact, I can't even remember the goals in order, just sums up how many goals we scored today. Um, Liam Cooper, I mean, Pablo Hernandez has literally just ran straight across the pitch, just literally just ran in one straight line from one edge, edge of the box to the other and just cut it back to Liam Cooper. Coops has put in the centre forward's finish there, off the post. And it's so much more satisfying when you see a goal go off the post as well. So much more satisfying as well. Great finish off Coops, a top performance from Coops and a top performance from a top leader and a top player. Um, fourth goal, I mean, absolutely brilliant. Helder Costa makes a run in behind, fantastic bit of movement. Great cut back into Pablo Hernandez and a top, top finish of Pablo Hernandez. And, and then it's 4-0 then. And you're just thinking, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, absolutely unbelievable. And you know, we get the fifth goal. Lovely ball off Luke Aylin into Patrick Bamford. And it's a fantastic finish. You know, it was a Marco Van Basten-like finish. If Marco Van Basten has scored that, if any striker has scored that, they'd be proud. It was an absolutely fantastic finish. And it more than made up for... You know, some of the chances Bamford missed, but it's an all-round fantastic performance. And for me, man of the match for this game is absolutely impossible. It's absolutely impossible to pick a man of the match for this game because they were all absolutely outstanding. All absolutely outstanding today. 
and, and that's all you can really ask for. And we go again, we go again. We've got Swansea away on Sunday. Hard, hard, hard game. Um, Rian Brewster, Andre Ayew, you know, top, top players there. You know, we're facing a top, top team. Uh, and we've just got to make sure we're ready for it. You know, if we put in a performance like we did today, I don't think any team in this league can stop us, to be honest. I don't think any team in this league can stop us. But let's be realistic now. We're probably not going to play like that every game. I don't think any team's going to play like that every game. So we've just got to make sure, you know, it's not always going to be happen like it did today in that second half. It doesn't always happen like it did in that second half. But we've just got to make sure and believe in our quality. We've got to go back to that game. If we have any doubt in our ability in these last four games, we go back to that game today. We go back to that game against Fulham. We go back to our whole performances this season. And remember, we've got serious quality. And even when it looks like we might be struggling a little bit, Go back to those memories and remember how good a team we are. You know, let's remember that. And most of all, guys, let's enjoy it because I did not want that game to finish. I didn't want that game to finish. I think they said a similar thing to the Stoke away game. I genuinely didn't want that game to finish because I was enjoying it so much. I thought we could have had six, seven, eight if that game had gone on any longer. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I've been Oscar. Make sure you check out Joe and Connor's match reviews of the game. Leeds 5, Stoke 0. See you later, guys.